Okay, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is uh, July 17th of 2023, almost 10.30 p.m. Uh, today, I ordered and got same-day delivery. Oh my God, this is heavy. This. Microphone. Ah. And I was so happy that I got it. And it is apparently missing the adapter because the, I'm not sure if it's three eighths on this end or whatever it is, it's too big to go into the bottom of my microphone. Um, I know I have some of these adapters, not, not very many, but I, you know, I have no idea where it is. I'm just gonna have to dig through First in the living room, there's a big a drawer, a big wooden drawer in there uh, sitting on the floor someplace. I just looked quickly. I couldn't see it in there. But there's a bunch of stuff like this at the bottom of, you know. And then over in these containers over there in the corner and in some other places, there's uh, groups of all kinds of screws, nuts, Adapters, probably all kinds of stuff. Damn, I was looking so forward to it. Well, what I did is just put this Elgato microphone back on its original little stand. And it is right there, right there in front of me, in between the two monitors. Well, not in between them because they're, it's out here a little bit, so it's not, you know, the two monitors still put it up against each other and I'm hoping the audio is going to be okay hard for me to tell those kind of things with my uh, cricket noise going 24 hours a day seven days a week I'm not sure what signal level they are but right now they seem it seems like they're uh, like it's very high damn so it's something so simple, you know, and I got, I got some other stands, not microphone stands. Well, one, the big microphone stand, but you know, that, that won't work. Um, no telling what else I have someplace. I'll probably trip over it, you know, fall on my ass here and break a bone or something. I've got a couple big mugs here. Uh, there's all kinds of things in here, but I don't know if, uh, I don't think that one of those things that I've seen is in here. There's all kinds of crap in here. And there's another big mug like this sitting over there filled with stuff too. Uh, so what's going on uh, other than that well, I'm waiting to have the it was supposed to be picked up today the Verizon's monitor or uh, router or whatever you call it that hooks up you know to get high speed internet I'm returning it because it you know won't work for me and I can see the antennas <laughs> right across the street down at the corner there's a, a tower for cell phones and that kind of stuff and uh, Verizon said that's where the uh, antenna for this you know for this location was um,
Now I've got other microphone. Well, I've got other mic microphones in there. I don't like the blue Yeti, but I'm sure that this adapter would fit into the you know fit into the it because it's kind of a monster. But I guess if this is working okay, and it looks like I'm looking at the uh, here, I'll drag this over so you can see it. Okay, here the a uh, mic auxiliary, and it's going every time I say something over into the yellow. Uh, a while back, a few days ago or something, I I turned it down a little bit, and right away several of you complained that the uh, volume wasn't high enough. So I guess I have to be kicking it into the yellow. I wonder what I would do to kick it into the red. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Testing one, two, testing one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I guess if this uh, microphone works there, I guess it'll be okay until I'll, one of these days I'll run across the uh, adapter that I need. And this isn't this isn't it. What would that be? A three eighths to a quarter inch or something? I don't know. The way it works around here is I'll be doing something else, and then there'll be whoops. That's the thing I need. Uh, just like I've been saying, I needed a microphone uh, stand for what, weeks, months, or whatever, and then one day I just looked around and leaning against the wall was a microphone stand. Uh, it's, let's see, had a pop-up. I said something about it, I don't know what. Oops, wrong one. Um, I thought of something and it totally vanished from my little brain. Oh. It was the microphone stand that uh, I was using for a couple of days, for a day or two, two or three days. And uh, I think this here might fit on No, I got too much stuff around. And this is as far as this extends, you know, this this here, this is as far as it goes. Oh well, you can't see that anyway. Okay, here. Now the other one on the one that stands up all the way, you know, from next to a desk or someplace, it's much longer. I just, it's laying over there. It's like, oops, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's long. But this, it's the, uh, oh. This would have been just perfect. It would sit right here, and uh, this bar that it's on doesn't go out very far. It just goes out far enough that it's needed. Okay, what else is going on? Um, well. Let's see. Emergency ac evacuation slide from United Flight Falls into neighborhood near Chicago Airport. Emergency evacuation slide 
Oh, from the uh, slide down from, okay. Uh, from the United flight, it falls in the neighborhood near uh, Chicago airport. Giant unidentified object washes up on the Australian beach. Uh, Activists vandalized super yacht believed to belong to billionaire Walmart heiress. The Walmart family, I, when you uh, when they had come up with a list of uh, most wealthy people in the United States or whatever, or is it the United States or I think it's the world, and uh, there's like four or five Walmart members that are in that. <laughs> They're in that list. They just had a thing where, uh, let's see, here's two 17-year-old tourists each caught defacing Rome's Colosseum. There was just recently a couple. Uh, oh, that's another pop-up thing for about a YouTube video or something. Russia launches an airstrike on Odessa 24 hours after uh, the Ukraine uh, blew up a, uh, a bridge of Russia's. So Russia is uh, retaliating. Also, uh, Russia canceled a deal they had to um, sell food, and uh, they canceled that. Huh, this West Virginia senator refused to rule out a third-party presidential campaign, telling voters that he had no plans to play spoiler in 2024. Uh, Kemp rules out a 2024 presidential bid and calls on GOP candidates to stop talking about 2020. Well, GOP people should just stop talking. It says here, why Biden worries about a third party rival in 2024, Biden? It's the Republicans that have to worry about Trump uh, deciding to run his own party. You don't know what Trump is going to do. And Trump doesn't. I don't think Trump knows what he's going to do. Uh, you know, the Democrats should, with the Republicans, divide it the way they are. You know, if, if Trump is the Republican candidate, you know, presidential candidate, he's not going to win. And the Republican Party which isn't the same party that it used to be. It's now a Trump, you know. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, not what you, well, I'm not sure what you call it. But uh, maybe the best thing for the Republican Party, for the real Republican Party, the old-time Republican Party, the grand old party, would be if Trump goes ahead and decides that he's going to run, you know, he's going to have his own party. And that would take a tremendous number of people away from the Republican Party, but they would then be lucky if they were smart. You know, they'd, be, they'd say, oh, goodbye. You know, it's been good having you with us, Lion Santa you know. If, you know, then the Republican Party could, you know, reestablish itself, provided all those. Uh, Trump supporters all went to Trump's party. I don't understand why Biden, let me click on this. Why would Biden worry about a third party? He 
It's hard to miss the headlines about a third party or independent candidate possibly derailing President Joe Biden's bid for a second term. Are they saying that some Democrat is going to run as a third party candidate? I gotta tell this thing to stop popping up messages over here. Democrat third party worries growth. I, I don't understand this at all. You know, the Republican, uh, Republican, you know, the Trump people are woo -hoo, Looney Tunes. Uh, I don't think there's anybody that stupid or that powerful in the Democratic Party. I mean, we have, you know, the party <clears throat> and we have the, you know, convention and that type of stuff, but it's not, you know, and there, I'm sure there are some dumb people and some stupid people and some crazy people, but I don't see why this doesn't seem to me like this is a legitimate story. Uh, let's see. Alarm bells for DeSantis. That's the governor of Florida. And he is a terrible candidate for the Republican Party because I guess he, he just can't interact with people, any people. And then everything that he's, you know, said, like, you know, come to, come to Florida, Florida's great. Everything's right now going bad for Florida. Weather, everything is going bad. Uh, what do they got? Uh, malaria, is malaria breaking out? <laughs> it's not supposed to be. I mean, it's just going, it's just going, everything is going bad in Florida just at the time that, just after DeSantis, uh, you know, decides that and he's telling everybody how great Florida is and people in Flo a lot of people in Florida, let's get the fuck out of here, you know. So I'm tired of hearing about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And now it says latest conspiracy theory theory is the last straw. Well, he's doesn't believe in vaccines, he doesn't uh there's a whole bunch of stuff. The guy, you know, you'll find some videos that I made a long time ago, and you'll, if you go back before that and WordPress, and you'll find my uh, idea that, you know, you know, we had a Kennedy as president of the United States. They shouldn't be allowed. The family shouldn't be allowed to run anybody, not just for the presidency, but for anything. You know it. Uh, don't pick people, you know, don't pick people. This is not, you know, you know, a uh, thing like the UK or something like that, you know, where uh, one royal member, you know, passes it down to the next one who, you know, that's not the way this country is supposed to be. I know we had two early presidents, you know, that were, you know, father and son, but yeah, um, it you know it's it should be it's the same thing with you know the Bushes, one Bush, you know what well, we had two. Uh, but uh, no, I mean no, and this and this guy. I mean this this shows you why you know. That, I think all the good DNA or something goes in. It goes into one of the, you know, the early ones, and then there's none left. Uh, I don't remember if this is the same Kennedy who assaulted a couple of nurses at a hospital, and uh, he. I'm not sure if this is the same one or not. Can't remember if it was Robert F. Kennedy or if it was or who else would be John F. Kennedy or I, I can't remember now who it was. But he was an arrogant SOB, and uh, he went into the uh, uh, nursery and, you know, grabbed up his baby, and it was his baby, although, you know, what if he'd have grabbed up somebody else's baby? 
and the nurses tried to, you know, say, sir, you know, uh, please, you know, whatever. You know, I don't know what type of security. I worked 30 years hospital security, and uh, the security is very much heightened in, you know, the OB department. And there are uh, steps that are taken to heighten security. And I don't know if these, you know, I'm not sure what kind of security they had at this hospital. You know, there may have been, uh, well, I'm not going to talk about There may have been devices or things that when somebody goes in and picks up a baby, you know, and then starts to leave the area or whatever, alarms would sound, you know, in the security department at the inside. Uh, automated uh, calls would go out on the radio. Uh, doors would lock down automatically. Maybe some elevator. I don't know, you know, how it... And two, I haven't... I quit working security. Well, I worked a little bit after in another... In Florida, God help us. But let's say I quit in 2000. Uh, after 30 years. So this is what, 23 years later, and so I have no idea what kind of security, I mean, what kind of devices and things like that that they might have. But I saw the video on, and I guess it's probably on YouTube someplace. If I run across it, I'll put maybe the link below, maybe. And uh, anyway, you know, he, uh, and the nurses wanted him prosecuted. And of course, a lot of people were saying, well, it was his baby, you know? What, you know? What if he didn't know which, you know, where his baby was? Maybe maybe if he was confused, or maybe if some for some reason the babies were, you know, some the baby removed for some reason, who, you know, who knows? The nurses know. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have a lot of problems because the nurses really took care of, you know, with, uh, with that working hospital security. I can remember, well, I remember one time, but there's more than one time, I can remember responding up to the nursery and there's uh, a guy up there wanting to see his baby or whatever. Now he was not the baby's father. He was, I forget. I forget how the situation went. You know, <laughs> and I, maybe the, maybe that's a time that a father shows up, and the father shows up, and there's a guy there, and who you know, who are you? Well, that's my baby. No, that's my baby. You know, uh, so you just don't know. All right. It pissed me off big time when I heard that, whichever Kennedy that was that won the hospital, the nurses wanted to prosecute. And uh, the hospital did not, you know, understand money and, uh, you know, the name and all those kind of stuff. And two, it just sounds bad unless you know, which people don't, you know, uh, the, the man, forget that he's a Kennedy or whatever, you know, a man tried to take his baby, you know, out of the hospital. He was actually take, going to take it, and I think he did, get on the elevator, go down, step outside, and show his baby to somebody, maybe the press, you know, maybe some, you know, who knows. Also, you know, had this Kennedy, had he been drinking? Was he intoxicated? Was he going to be carrying his baby around? Was he going to drop the baby accidentally? Uh, you know, or who maybe he's taking the baby because there's, you know, he's upset with the hospital or upset with his wife that just gave birth or you don't know. And, you know, anyway, enough of that. Anyway, this Kennedy, though, is he's opposed to not just, uh, you know, shots and injections and that kinds of stuff, but he's he's got a whole, whole bunch of other uh, things. I don't think he's a flat earth person, 
but he may think there are Jewish space laser, lasers that are uh, turning men uh, sterile or something. I don't know what he thinks, except he shouldn't be in politics at all. And none, and it's still too soon, you know. I think we need, it ought to be like a hundred years, okay, you know, okay. There was a Kennedy a hundred years ago, we can maybe have another one. There was a Bush, you know, a hundred years ago, okay, well now, but no, there ought to be like a, of course, you know, all you have to be is, you know, a native born American, 35 years of age, and you can run for president and be president. Maybe we need to change that. Now, President Bush won. Uh, he, he was a Republican, but he wasn't a crazy, you know, a crazy Republican. And he was a war hero. He was shot, he was a pilot. He was shot down, landed in the ocean, was uh, rescued by a U.S. submarine. <laughs> And he was, then he was, you know, then he was, uh, depart or he was, uh, served, you know, in, in government. He was, what was it, uh, can't remember. Then a few years, you know, a few years later, we get the second Bush. Now, of course, he doesn't seem bad even though he and his vice president, who was bad, and uh, even though that they believed that uh, torture was okay to use on prisoners, oh, I'm sorry, no, no. They said it wasn't torture. It was enhanced interrogation. And it doesn't work. I mean, you know, that doesn't work. You start torturing somebody, he's going to tell you, you know, he's going to tell you, but he's not going to tell you probably what he's... And then the Republicans, even back then, okay, the Republicans were, there was just a few of them, well, not a few, but... Uh, so a TV show was on, I guess the TV people decided, hey, well, there's a following, you know. And so they had, I forget, I didn't, I never watched the show, but it was like, and it was, I think, a weekly. It was on every week, I think, and changed, you know, because what was going on. And uh, uh, in the TV show, there would be a terrorist who planted a nuclear uh, device in, I don't know, Los Angeles, and only he knew where it was or the code to stop it. And so he had to be tortured. And the Republicans fucking loved that show. And then they used that show saying, see, see that, you know, it's a TV show, you know. See, that was necessary. That's why we need to use torture. I mean, enhanced interrogation, you know. Uh, so the second Bush wasn't, of course now, uh, not too bad. <laughs> Wish we had more of those people, you know. Uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see. How long have I been talking here? Uh, where's the time? Okay, 30 minutes. So it is time for me to... Uh, Time for me to stop. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please click on something for me. Anything, I don't care. A thumbs up, subscribe. I think nine people subscribed last month. I mean, can't we do a little better than, you know? I've got three and a half thousand people subscribed. You know, 4,000 would be, you know, 4,000 would be nice, but. I'm 82, and with nine people subscribing a month, I don't think I'm going to get 4,000 before I, 
who knows? Anyway, I said I was going to stop, so I'm going to stop. Thanks very much for watching.